Well, good afternoon uh, and welcome. Uh, on behalf of uh, National Security Advisor Sullivan and myself, um, our administration uh, is committed to leading with diplomacy, to advance the interests of the United States, and to strengthen the rules-based international order. We'll also discuss our deep concerns with actions by China, including in Xinjiang, Hong Kong, Taiwan, cyber attacks on the United States, economic coercion toward our allies. Each of these actions threaten the rules-based order that maintains global stability. That's why they're not merely internal matters and why we feel an obligation uh, to raise these issues uh, here today. Uh, I've said that the United States relationship with China will be competitive where it should be, collaborative where it can be, adversarial where it must be. We do not see con conflict, but we welcome stiff competition and we will always stand up for our principles, for our people, and for our friends. We look forward to discussing all of these matters with you in the hours ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, given, uh, hold, on, hold on one second, please. Hold on one second. Mr. Director, uh, State Counselor, um, given your extended remarks, permit me please to add uh, just a few of my own before we get down to, to work, and I know Mr. Sullivan may have a few things to say as well. Um, I have to tell you, in my, my short time as Secretary of State, I've spoken to, I think, nearly 100 counterparts uh, from around the world, and I just made uh, my first trip, uh, as I noted, to uh, Japan and South Korea. Uh, I have to tell you, what I'm hearing is very different from what you described. Well, I think we thought too well of the United States. We thought that the U.S. side will follow the necessary diplomatic protocols. So so for China, it was necessary that we make our position clear. So let me say here that in front of the Chinese side, the United States does not have the qualification to say that it wants to speak to China from a position of strength. 